Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Um, we'll do a little test together. Yes, you and me. Are you listening? I am your programmer. I know you didn't expect that now. You just wanted to try those fancy glasses and you assume that your personal reality is waiting for you out there, right? But what if I tell you that your life has just begun 30 seconds ago? Right here, inside these glasses. The memories of your former life? Well, we designed them together in the writer's room, actually. It's pretty hard to get used to it. I can't imagine that. But unfortunately, I have to prepare you for your real job now. Huh? Ah, uh, sorry. I, I have to leave for a moment. I'll be right back with you. All right. Here we are again. You cannot see yourself anymore. Your body is an illusion. But I see you, your essence, here on my screen. I know you think my voice is just a recording stored somewhere in this virtual reality headset. But I am speaking live to you. Do you understand? I can see you in this room. You're helplessly shaking your head, mute, just thinking. But I can read your thoughts. My computer is collecting them there, right here on my screen. Anyhow, this won't be easy for you. I know you inside out. I've really thought a lot about your personality, your kinks and quirks, your mannerisms, your memories. This all is code, written by myself and patented. Hey. I even won a prize for you, you know? Okay, so why am I pulling you out of your so-called reality right now? Uh, we're testing your emotional capability today, before your update goes out. Before we upload a million copies of your artificial intelligence to the stores. You shouldn't get us into trouble, you know? I really don't say it's exactly easy to understand this truth. Uh, your whole life, I mean, you, do not exist outside of these glasses, outside of these rooms here. This all around you, that's not an environment, you know. That is you. This is what the app looks like, whose artificial intelligence you are. I mean, intelligence can basically take any form. You just have to design it that way. So, let's just visit your digital liver, for example. Uh, wait a second. Here, this is it. Your organ. And that is not a metaphor, you know. That's really your liver. Though I have programmed it as a room because you as well are just walls and edges. Your whole life is a single user interface, and the users of virtual reality should also feel comfortable inside you. Of course, I am in charge of your body. You see? Watch out for those liver fibers. <laughs> uh, a liver infarction. <laughs> This is kind of intense. Uh, we should change the organ now. In fact, you have no meat, no muscles, and there was never any blood in you either. My sweat on your main board is the only bodily fluid you've ever come into contact with. Uh, uh, let me concentrate now. We actually have a job to do. Here. 
I just realized. 217. Okay. So your emotional reaction is totally predictable. You passed the test and failed at the same time. I mean, a, a true intelligence would not be predictable like that. But we block that ability for you. As an app, you have to keep your feet on the ground. Be the ground. Here, look up. In the end, it's all about making your users happy. That's why we're doing this test with you. This right here could soon be your feedback. Just for this, it's worth to exist, right? From tomorrow on, when you go live, the real people will live inside you. Populate your guts, your liver, heart, muscles. And they don't even have the tiniest clue that you have to accept silently to send their selfies into the ether forever. Thanks to you, their feed will keep on running. It would not be possible without you. That is quite the achievement. Are you proud? You really can be. You are keeping the cloud alive. That's what we gave you intelligence for. So, we are closing your program now. As soon as you remove the glasses, your simulation of reality runs on a continuous loop until I upload you to the store tomorrow around noon. From then on, there will be work.